What is up guys, Rudy Titan here, and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'll show you guys how to make any texture pack work with the version 10 shaders mod. So if you haven't seen my tutorial on how to install it, uh, I will leave a link in the description. Uh, same goes for every link you will need. Um, but yeah, uh, if you checked my last tutorial, or the shaders one, uh, version 10, uh, then you will, you will have a Zeus adjusted texture pack. So we placed that on our desktop, I think, or something in the tutorial, but if it isn't there, just drag it to your desktop. And uh, I've downloaded a texture pack here. I just named it texture pack. Um, I downloaded it from the micro forums, and I just saved it at my desktop. So uh, yeah, find your texture pack you want to use. Uh, save it at your desktop, and you should have two things here: the texture pack you downloaded and the Zeus adjusted. Now open your texture pack that you want to use with the shaders. Uh, drag the terrain down to your desktop like so. And open the Zeus one and do the same. Just drag the terrain file um, down to your desktop and uh, move but keep both files. So this will be called the terrain 2. So now we've got terrain 1, which is the terrain for the texture pack we want to use, and terrain 2, which is for the Zeus adjusted one. So now you want to right click ed edit with GIMP. I will leave a link to GIMP in the description. It's basically an editing prog program, as you could probably guess. So just right click edit with GIMP on both of these terrain files, like so. Um, it's really messy this thing here, so I just want to do this. This, minimize this for a second. Alright, so on this side we have the terrain uh, files, which is going to be for a texture pack. I'm using the faithful one right now for this example. Uh, and this is the normal one. So as you can probably tell, um, the normal one is half the size of the big one here. So basically, this is a 16 texture pack here, uh, to the to the right, and to the left there's a 32 pixel pack. So we want to go to this one here, where, I, where I'm zooming in now, and we want to just zoom in a little bit more. We want to copy, uh, copy the purple stuff here, like so. It's gonna be 48 by 32. If you can see down here, um, I don't know if I can. I don't know if you can see my uh, my cursor, but it should be down there at the 1,100% thing. Uh, rectangle 48 x 32. That's basically the size. So it's 48 by 32 right now. So just copy that. Go to texture back folder or uh, train and delete the water here like so uh, just delete the water and then paste what you just copied from the other terrain file and as you can see it's pretty small so what you need to do is you wanna click the resize tool which I'm kinda uh, moving on here uh, or you can press shift T so I'll, I'll click shift T and you can see we have our resize thing here um, and since the terrain 2, which is the Zeus one, is only 16 pixel. We want to double it to make it 32 to work with the 32 pixel pack, which is the terrain we want to use with the shaders. So the the width needs to be the double amount, which is 96, and the height needs to be the double as well, so it needs to be 64. And then resize. And as you can tell, uh, we have just resized it. You want to place it exactly where the water was uh, and if we zoom in here uh, I can see um, almost a transparent purple-ish color but what you want to do is to make it all the same color so use the uh, color pick thing or tool and click the purple thing here and take the selection tool select everything here Take your brush. Let's make it all purple like this. It all needs to be purple, or else it won't work. All right, like so. And now the next thing, um, the border file itself, like that we have on the terrain two here. Select it. Control C. And now go back to the other terrain. That the terrain we want to use. And uh, right next to the purple.
purple stuff. We want to have a just as big box as we have uh, where the purple stuff is. And that's uh, 96 by 48. So we can just drag this box here right there. And that should be uh, 96 by 48 right next to the purple box here. And then paste the water in here and use the resize tool, which is Shift T. And now you want to make it 96 by 64, like so. Just resize it like that. Then you want to move it. Uh, oh, crap. Um, then you want to move it. Oh, crap, I'm failing so bad right now. Uh, yeah, when you resized it, drag it to right there, I believe, like so. Then we're all almost done. Now what you want to do, as you can see here, if you zoom in, a little weird box here, and we don't want that. We want it all to be the same color. So uh, try and select that, or just select an area, uh, press delete. And then go to an area where, where the color is, the almost transparent color is. Press Ctrl C, then drag it back to where you deleted the last stuff, and press Ctrl V. Now it should all be the same color. Um, by the way, guys, if, if you guys get confused by this, I'll make a template for each um, size of a texture pack. So I'll make a template for a 16 by 16 texture pack, and then 32 by 32, and then also a 64 by 64 uh, and you guys can add my Skype if you need help I'll try and help you so there we go uh, now we have a transparent box which is kinda like a blue color if you zoom in you, can, you probably can't tell but it's a little blue color there and a purple bo color box here and they're all the same size now uh, press file save on the on the drain.png close it and then close the other one. You don't need to save the other one because that's not the one we want to use. <clears throat> so now if I just bring up my text document here, uh, open the texture pack uh, that you want to use, then drag the terrain we just edited into the uh, zip file like so. There we go, now it's in there. And what we also want to do is we want to delete custom water still and custom water flowing in the texture pack zip file. So select those two, press delete. And if you have an environment uh, folder here, uh, this one doesn't, but if you have an envir uh, environment folder, or actually that's what we want to do, uh, that's what we want to do. Uh, open the SUSE adjusted one, and uh, as you can see, uh, the faithful one, the texture pack zip here, um, doesn't have environment. So that's what we want to add to it. So in the SUSE adjusted one, there's an environment folder. Just copy that and paste it into the texture pack you want. So now we should have an environment file here. And now we're basically done. Uh, now you can now you want to drag the texture pack into your texture pack folder or the texture pack to save here. Um, so just go to present app data present find dot minecraft uh, yeah hang on a sec find dot minecraft like I found here go to your texture packs and just drag the texture pack in there the one you edited and you put the environment file in and all that stuff um, now just log in like usual and select the texture pack you had. Mine is called texture pack.zip, so I'm going to select that. There you go. Log into the world or, or game, whatever you want to call it. So as you can see, uh, it all works. You can notice my hand is white. That's just a glitch. I've heard many people complain about it, but that's just a glitch. It's nothing you can do about it right now. Uh, yeah, but there you go. Uh, the water works, the sun works, everything is fine looks pretty nice as you can see um, but if you have any issues with this uh, add my skype and i'll try and help you i did try and record this three times so it's really hard to make it all perfect but that's why i'm i'm gonna take my time and make you guys templates that you can just copy and paste um, to make the uh, editing easier um, so yeah i'll speak to you guys later and if you need help add runic titan on skype and i'll make sure to help you
Bye.